park up last night was in the shadow of Chateau de Finelon on the banks of the Dordogne. I'll leave a link in the, uh, I'll leave a part for night link in the uh, description. It's really nice. foggy this morning and we got up we said oh we're not getting any drone shots or anything but actually once we took the drone above the fog it's really really nice Chateau de Finelon, worth a visit. I think you've got to pay to get in, but um, it's probably not much. And it looks a beautiful place. Just around the edge of Andorra. Yeah. Do a bit of hiking for a couple of days and then carry on south probably. And hopefully we'll get some sun because um, we crossed over in Calais yesterday, drove about 700 miles down France and it was flipping freezing this morning. We woke up to a frost, it was like minus two. It was cold in the Dordogne, really cold. One minute, 37 seconds later. I think we've been driving on the flat too long. I think it's time for some mountains. Time for Jules to go over some mountains. You just find some yellow snow. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, avoid the we'll yellow avoid. snow. Oh, look. <laughs> it's 
So we've just stopped off on the highest point of the N320. We're just about to get start going down in a little minute, but if you're here this time of year in sort of February, March, still quite a lot of snow up here and there's a lot yeah. of people skiing and things like that. So it is really cold. It's, it's really very, cold. Very cold. Time to head back down though. Let's get into Spain. <laughs> Go and find some sunshine. Got tea cows. Tonight, Matthew, we are, we are having chili. Nice. We've crossed the Pyrenees into Spain. We've arrived tonight at Pedro Forza. Tomorrow we're going to do a 15k hike. So we're going to crash. In fact, Kaz already has crashed. Had some tea. Have to bed early in the morning. See you later. Day three.